this is my face this morning but i'm not freaking out just yet i got a dermatology treatment dermatologist treatment I'm not really sure how to word that and basically i have this like treatment on my face right now i have had to keep it on my face for the 24 hours and this is what it looks like right now i'm about what i'm about to wash it off um and this is what it looks like right now after 24 hours on my face it's really red there's a lot going on hopefully to help with my hyperpigmentation so we will see apparently it takes like months for this process to see any like improvement so like it's not like i'm gonna wash it off and like have great skin um sadly that's not how these things work but i wanted to show you guys like this is what my face looks like right now it's got stinging nettles in it whatever uh treatment they use the formula has stinging nettles in it so my face does feel quite rough and stingy um but hopefully that just means it's working it looks like i've just got a lot of blush on but hopefully i get good clear skin afterwards we shall see in a few months time. Okay, so I am about to wash it off. There's not actually a lot on my face. I'm worried that I'm gonna wash my face off and it's still gonna look like this, which is gonna be great. Also, I realized I've become very uh, emotionally attached to this fleece. I'm one of those people that I gravitate to certain clothing, like a comfort thing. So this fleece has become like my comfort blanket and I just always gravitate to it. Like it's so gross right now. But I um, I have plenty of the clothes I can wear right now, but this is the one I keep going to. So if you think, Taz, why are you wearing that gross fleece? I'm aware. <laughs> I just don't care. I don't know why I don't care. I should have better standards for myself, but clearly I don't. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to see what the texture is like. Oh, yeah. It's rough. <laughs> so the best way I can ex describe it is like my skin with a... Um, treatment is um it feels like sandpaper so that's fun oh okay this part is no joke this part is like rough so this is how i'm gonna look like for i don't know how long because last time i did it it didn't look like this uh am i really gonna be looking like this for the next few days i don't even know how long i'm gonna be looking like this for it's a good job I have filmed two videos already, so I just gotta edit them. So like, I don't have to put my face on camera anytime soon. I realize I'm doing it right now, but second channel doesn't count. On second channel, we're very real. I, because I have brown skin, I don't really blush. Well, I guess brown people can blush, but I am not one of those people. So I, this is kind of interesting to see me have red cheeks for once, because that like literally never happens. Not naturally, anyway. Um, I changed into old school merch. Does anyone remember this merch? It's one of my favorites. Maybe I should bring it back, let me know. So basically, I went to Paris and I've done a whole vlog. Uh, I've done a couple of vlogs on that, which will be on the main channel. Now I'm back with this face and I am getting back into the groove of things. So like today is basically an errands day. I have a lot of... <laughs> homey bits to do like i got to first of all i've just abandoned my food shop it's just on the floor so i need to pack that away at some point um i need to cook i need to do my washing i need to unpack i still haven't unpacked i am the worst at unpacking suitcases and then i need to edit come along with me for all of that good fun stuff lots of veggies and stuff i'm trying to eat more fruit and veg can you tell because <laughs> i'm trying couple of days with the treatment and I just wanted to show you because this didn't happen the first time I did it but my skin is peeling and it's like so rough like it actually feels like sandpaper yeah let's hope that this means it's working otherwise I look really weird
This is not sponsored, I'm not getting paid to say this, but Impress Dental have kindly gifted me orthodontic treatment. So I'm basically getting aligners for three months and by the end of it, I'll have straight white teeth. So that's amazing. I thought I'd document it for you guys just in case you guys were interested. Also, there is a 200 pound discount link in the description if you wanna, if you're interested and wanna check that out. Just got my aligners put in. How cool, but I look a mess. Guys, look at the state of my skin. And I got my liners in. We are making some self-improvement in the face area, but we're in the improvement part, so it looks like this. So it doesn't look so cute now, but give me, give me time, people. I'll come into my prime. <laughs> Just give me time. And then I'll be in my prime. Get that on, Mitch. That should be the new Mitch. Well, you can literally see the new skin. You know what I feel like? I feel like that lizard from Spider-Man. <laughs> I feel like I've turned myself into a lizard or a snake and I'm shedding. Whoa, it's really... I shouldn't touch it. Face kind of hurts, but it's no pain, no gain. Am I right, people? I'm overheating. I've got dry skin. I can't even talk because of the liners. I went to Whole Foods. I'm not gonna lie, I got really subconscious when I went into Whole Foods and I got a bit flustered and um, yeah, I just kind of like got really flustered. There was a lot of cool options there and I didn't get any of them. Like there was a lot of cool like hot foods and stuff like that, but I just didn't get them because I got a bit subconscious. So that's great. I don't think it's social anxiety. I don't know what it is, to be honest, but sometimes I just get very overwhelmed and subconscious and I just panic and get really shy and awkward and, you know. So in my panic state, I didn't realize how many bags of crisps, chips, I don't know what you call chips. It says chips on the bag. So I got so many bags of chips. I didn't realize at the time. I don't even eat chips that much, but there we go. So I've got, Got lentil chips. Oh, I love these. I actually really like these. Veggie straws. Just thought these looked cool. We got the protein ones. I got some salsa. Oh, this one's exciting. I've got cookies. Oh, and these are the, like the thick chocolate chip ones. I got tiramisu. That looks really nice. And then <laughs> this was so random. This is this is how you know I was like kind of panicking and I just grabbed anything and just got out of it. I got potatoes. These are probably the most overpriced potatoes you can get. Like I, I don't know why I got this in the end. But I think I got it because it's like it says ready to heat. So I'm hungry right now, so I'm just gonna shove that in the oven with a bunch of other stuff and that's gonna be my dinner. And um I have to take my retainers, no, my aligners off when I eat. Basically, I had to wear these aligners for 22 hours of the day. So like I wear it the whole day, I sleep with it. The only time I take it out is when I'm eating and brushing my teeth. Um, so yeah, I have to get these bad boys. Oh, you can't even tell, it probably looks like I'm just pointing at my teeth, but can you see the line? How do I show this without being gross? They're the aligners, by the way. I basically have to wear these for three months now. I am currently making a roast. Well, can you call it a roast? It's not like a proper roast. It's a bunch of vegetables and chicken with gravy. So call that what you will. But I'm being cheeky because I always do this. I always do this. I always have snacks and dessert before my dinner. And then when it comes to eating dinner, not as hungry. By the way, these cookies, incredible. So good. These cookies are the bomb. Okay, I caved in. Turns out I'm gonna do a little snack taste test because I'm very impatient and I can't wait for food. Also, they put some weird stuff on my teeth to put their liners on and I can like, it's so weird to get used to. I'm already gonna get full by the time my dinner is done. Oh, why am I like this? I have no self-control, I tell you. 
Can we try the protein one? I just want to see what the big deal is about. Oh, see, the worst things about these kind of chip bags is that they are so hard to open. Oh, the worst part about being... No, it's not the worst part, but one of the downsides about living alone is you can't give things to someone else to open. So the struggle is real, people. I don't know how I survived for these past two years. Uh, oh, there's a rip. Oh, okay. I think I figured out. I think you're supposed to rip it here. Purple with polka dots. That's crazy, but they are nice. Let's try the salsa because that's what's going to make it. Jeez, oh, I can't open a single thing. I am so bad at opening things. Oh, no. Still weak. Oh, okay. Looks like I'm not gonna be able to have the salsa until I have people over mine. So that's great. Can't do a taste test it. This is the veggie ones. I know I like these. Oh, look at that. I managed to open it all by myself. These are my favorite. I'm definitely not gonna eat my dinner. This is why you need responsible adults around who stop you from doing these things. When you become an adult, I always thought when you become an adult, you just magically become a responsible one. Turns out, that's not the case. Not in mine, anyway. I don't know if you can hear that, but there's currently a storm in the UK and it's all kicking off. The roof of the O2 has come off because of the storm. It's a wild, wild time in the UK right now. But um, before I end this vlog, yes, sadly, we're gonna have to part ways, but I'm sure I'll see you again. This came in the post. How exciting. This is Nikki Lily's new um, makeup collection from revolution how exciting she is the sweetest human ever by the way she feels like a little sister to me and she's like really cute and i'm really proud of her she's absolutely smashing it and yeah i'm just super happy for her and um how nice is the packaging by the way absolutely stunning and look at all the cute little goodies inside i love seeing my friends thrive and do well and do all these i'm very fortunate to have such like inspiring, amazing people around me that are all doing like such amazing cool things. You're constantly like, whoa, this is crazy and wild. And I don't know, it just makes me happy to see my friends do well and succeed. And um, yeah. And on that lovely positive note, that is where I'm gonna end this video. Oh, also my skin um, is no longer peeling, but I just realized there's something going on here. And I don't know what that is. That literally is the first time I'm seeing it. Um, but yeah, skin no longer peeling. Um, we shall see the progress as time goes on. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you lots. And um, maybe I'll see you soon. Maybe I won't. We never know on this channel. Bye. <laughs>